From college signing day to century merch, we we've have got, got the, the scoop. scoop. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning. I'm Jennifer Gomez. And I'm Victor Garcia. Today is Wednesday, November 14, 2018. I'm so excited that today is going to be a th the day before we head on. Me too. <laughs> and we f head on to break and then we go to Thanksgiving. Well, it's been already Thanksgiving and it seems like Halloween was just yesterday, you know, Jennifer? I know. It sure feels um, like that but let's move on because we have something special for today's broadcast all right all right i got you i introduce it all right so november 14th is the official athlete signing day throughout the united states on this day high school athletes are officially signing their commitment letters to attend the university that has selected him or her as an athlete they'd like to have on the college team we have one such athlete here at Century, and here are, is Dr. Swanson, Mr. Cavanaugh, and the special athlete. Good morning. Uh, just a little bit about today. Uh, for those of you who are in our senior class, and for those of you who will be someday, and will be going to school, uh, will be going to college after you finish here, May 1st is the day that you will typically uh, return your statement of intent to register. You will officially pick a school. If you're an athlete, uh, those days are a little different. One is today, November 14th, and then there's another one at the end of the winter in, in early February. And we're really excited to have with us uh, Natalia Lopez, who ha will sign a national letter of intent to his accept a women's, scholarship, a women's soccer scholarship to attend DePaul University in what is America's second city, although for Dr. Swanson it will always be America's first city, Chicago. Uh, for those of you who don't know, that's Dr. Swanson's hometown. Uh, a little bit about DePaul, and then we'll, we'll let Natalie speak for a minute. Uh, DePaul is one of the most prominent Catholic universities in the country in terms of its athletic program. It's a member of the reconstituted Big East Conference. Um, that means that Natalia will get to travel all over the uh, East Coast, visiting uh, Georgetown in Washington, D.C., Providence College in Rhode Island, uh, St. John's in New York, uh, uh, Seton Hall in East Orange, New Jersey, and the other original member is Villanova in Philadelphia. The five members that are kind of from the Midwest are DePaul in Chicago, Butler University in Indianapolis, Xavier in Cincinnati, Ohio, and uh, Marquette in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. So uh, just a touch about DePaul women's soccer, they last shared the Big East Championship in 2016 and have, uh, have qualified to participate in the Big East Tournament both of the last two years. We hope that as Natalie goes there, she'll bring them even greater success. So Natalie, can you tell us what was it about DePaul that made it such a special place for you? Well, one of the reasons I chose DePaul was that um, Reputationally speaking, Chicago is a really diverse area, and it's something I really thought I could benef benefit from going there for four years. And then another reason was that early in the year, I got to actually visit the campus. And when I got there, I was a little skeptical because in a traditional sense of a college campus, it's just not walking in, and that's your campus. It's actually, the university is actually built into the actual city. So you're there streets with different um, actual buildings where you, you're gonna have classes. And that was kind of, that was really like, 
that was really scary for me because like I'm not good with direction at all and I was almost sure I was gonna get lost but actually it's a really small campus and it just looked beautiful and the cold is definitely something I'm gonna have to get used to but <laughs> there's in the soccer team there's a bunch of girls from California and I guess they're alive so I'll do fine <laughs> so <laughs> and um, I also got to meet a lot of the girls on the team and they were all really amazing the coaching staff was really nice and it's just somewhere I feel like I can get better as a person and a player. All right. And so uh, actually Natalia handled that a whole lot better than I did this morning I think. Um, so with that I suppose we can make it official. Do you want to sign your national letter of intent to accept an athletic scholarship to attend DePaul University? And so it is. Da -da -da -da. Uh, with us also this morning is Natalia's mom and a uh, very supportive family. And uh, also uh, a shout out to Samantha, who we hope will have an opportunity to be, be here uh, in a couple of years as well. Dr. Swanson, do you have anything for us? The only thing I have is that I checked the weather, and today it's about 30 <laughs> degrees over there, so a little bit chilly. But congratulations. We're really proud of you and, and what you've done. Thank you. America's second coldest city, for sure. <laughs> All right. So with that, back to our anchors. Congrats to Natalia. Um, now, moving on. Continuing the topic of soccer, our Lady Centurions will be selling shirts for their fundraiser. The short sleeves are $12, long sleeves are $15, and the crewnecks are $20. Make sure you purchase one quickly because the deadline is November 30th. But wait, there's more. Century merch is on sale, and today is the last day to purchase from any ASB member. Orders are due at the end of the day, so don't wait. Our Polynesian dance girls are also having their fundraiser they're selling shirts and as you see on the screen they are fourteen dollars and the last day to buy them is november 30th make sure you contact any polynesian girl or their coach if interested in buying one class of 2019 do you have your senior merch already if not you can still purchase yours the t-shirts are fifteen dollars and the hoodies are 25 again contact any asb member to purchase yours and also, Centurions, don't forget, Key Club will be having another one of their weekly meetings tomorrow after school in room 5117. For those of you that don't know what Key Club is, come out to their meeting and find out about what all the cool community service events they have coming up, such as the Rose Float in December, and to earn your hours fast. Seniors in Key Club, make sure you pay for your membership to be eligible for the sash when you graduate and to redeem your hours. It is only $11.50 and is due at the end of November. So. Please visit the ASB window ASAP to give your receipt to any key club officer. And going on, attention all science club members, the Nature Vision fundraiser is due tomorrow, no exceptions. It will need to be mailed before Thanksgiving in order for us to receive the items before winter break. So please bring your order forms tomor at tomorrow's meeting. Juniors, this is your last chance to come and pick up permission slips to attend Cal State Fullerton on November 16th from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Food will be provided. Permission slips must be turned in Thursday, November 15th to the Higher Ed Center in front of Ms. Sanchez's office. Food will be provided. Perfect event for the day off. The space is limited. Seniors, we will be taking 25 students to Irvine Valley College on Friday, December 1st, 7th from 7.45 to 1 p.m. Permission slips went out last week. If you did not get one, please stop by the Higher Ed Center today to secure your spot. If you have any questions, see Ms. Sanchez. Lastly, UC and CSU college applications are due soon. Please stop by the Higher Ed Center to get support. Ms. Sanchez will be available through Google Chat on Tuesday, November 20th and Wednesday, November 21st from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. And also, insurance, remember that this grading period is the last of the semester. So if you've been lazy, it's time to try your hardest to catch up. It's now or never. If you need extra help, there's tutoring every day after school in the library to receive help with anything that you need help with. We also want to bring up a topic that is very that is a very big issue here at Century. The amount of trash that is left on our campus is embarrassing. We all want to see our school clean and beautiful, but we do not do anything about it. We actually make it worse by leaving trash on the table or on the floor. 
It's not that hard to throw away the trash. We have power to make our school clean and beautiful, so all we have to do is try. So make sure you do your part and don't contribute to the issue. Also, tomorrow our girls soccer team will be having their first home game here at Century against Bolsa Grande. The game starts right after school at 3, so you won't have any excuse not to make it. That's it for today's insurance. <laughs> Bye. Bye.